Ooh. It's hot. Very, very hot. Hello and welcome to The Weekly Drift. It's a show where two music nerds take their favorite songs and turn them into weird and wacky hot sauce recipes. I'm your co-host, Mike King. I'm your other co-host, Wyatt Dozier. Wyatt, why, why are you wearing winter clothes? I don't know, I felt this like icy draft in the air, almost like it was winter time. Wyatt, do you think it's winter time because the song we're featuring this week is Ice Coffee by Emmanuel Winter? You know, now that you mention it, that that might be the winter time I'm thinking. Yeah, dude, it's like it's Memorial Day. It's like 90 degrees out. Oh, yep. Yeah. What am I doing? That's why I'm so sweaty. Take that shit off. Man. <laughs> okay. okay. It's all good. Sweat all over my floor. Yeah, I know. There's a puddle here already. Jesus. Anyway. Good thing I got my summer gear on under this, so yeah, I'm prepared for all situations. Of course, as always. Now I'm ready to get spicy. What the fuck? Oh my God. <laughs> the hot sauces made in this episode are based on last week's Gettin' Sauce podcast, Local Licks with Emmanuel Winter. During that episode, we were tasked with including flavors like coffee, caramel, Carolina barbecue, vinegar, and Cheerwine Cola. Make sure to catch up on the podcast for the first part to this video. Flavor notes. Flavor notes. So for my sauce, the majority of the ingredients that I have laid out here are going to be combined in an attempt to recreate a typical Carolina red barbecue sauce. So we picked up a bottle here at the store uh, as just a kind of control to compare it against. And I took a look at the ingredient label. I acquired most of everything that's on the back of it here. We're just gonna try to combine everything, test it against this to see if I can get close. In addition to the Carolina barbecue ingredients, I've got a few of our Iron Chef-esque special ingredients that Emmanuel requested. The cheer wine a caramel sauce, which weirdly I'm going to be making for the second time on this show for the spice, the old reliable stone mill stir in Carolina Reaper paste that is basically just becoming the mainstay of this show. Okay, so moving on to my ingredients here, uh, we kind of are starting over on this end of the display with more of my traditional barbecue sauce ingredients that I usually use when I'm making a homemade barbecue sauce from my spices to my liquid smoke, my apple cider vinegar, fresh onion, fresh garlic, uh, brown sugar, salt, pepper, and ketchup. And then from there, we're moving on to more of our ingredients that were required for use in this video. To kick up the heat a little bit, I am throwing in some habaneros, North Carolina's own cheer wine, salted caramel syrup, the fair trade certified Sumatran dark roast ground coffee is actually going in both of our sauces, uh, but Wyatt is a dumb bitch and totally forgot to mention it, and so he asked that I would uh, politely bring that up. So while we are cooking up the rest of our ingredients, I'm gonna get that pot boiling. Let's get cooking. All right, so while Mike is brewing up a pot of coffee back there, I'm gonna start working on the caramel sauce. Now, we did this before in the center field John Fogarty episode, so I'm just gonna breeze through it here really quick. It's not complicated. Just start off, sugar, water, heat it up. Easy does it. I wish you guys at home could smell this right now. That caramel smells great. I'm almost sad that we're gonna be putting other stuff in it. We definitely need to try this just on its own first. Oh, no doubt. All right, so the next step is to try to recreate the Carolina barbecue sauce component. So. We've got some pre-made store-bought stuff here. I'm not using it in the sauce, but I'm gonna use it as a flavor reference point. This is Lily's. Uh, Lily, I don't know who you are, but you're making great sauce. Obviously, since it's Carolina style, very vinegar forward, and that's how I like it. The tomato and Worcestershire flavors are also really prominent, so I'll keep that in mind when I'm adding uh, the ketchup and the Worcestershire sauce. So, Let's get the mix in. 
salt and pepper, ketchup and mustard, chili powder, I'm going with garlic powder, and I'm going with paprika. Carolina barbecue. Vinegar is a prominent feature. We're going with apple cider today, Worcester, and some molasses along with brown sugar to bring the sweetness. Out of this. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Just open the fucking thing. Oh. <laughs> I'm turning my kitchen into your shitty art studio. <laughs> oh, I'm an artist. <laughs> Let me do my art. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and start cooking up my ingredients here. Um, to start off, I have a cup of fresh brewed coffee. We're gonna toss that in. I, unlike Wyatt, am going to be throwing just all of my ingredients in pretty much at once um, so that the flavors can kind of melt together a little bit. Up next, I've got cheer wine. Try a sip. It's pretty good. I haven't had sure wine since I was a kid, so yeah, it holds up. If you haven't had sure wine in a while, definitely try it. And we're gonna add uh, 1.38 tablespoons there. Um, then we're gonna go ahead and with the coffee and the sheer wine, we're gonna throw in our salted caramel, caramel, whatever you wanna say, syrup. Hopefully it'll pair with the brown sugar that I'll be throwing in later. And then I don't want a whole lot of apple cider vinegar, but I can't imagine making a barbecue sauce without it. So I'm gonna throw just a splash of this in here to add some acidity. Onions, garlic, and habaneros. Up next, we're gonna go with our ketchup. This is a variation on a barbecue sauce that I tend to make pretty often. Um, and like most barbecue sauces, it is definitely a ketchup base. To go along with the cheer wine and the caramel, some brown sugar. why I didn't quite rip a big enough hole here. Blame him if my sauce doesn't come out right. That way I can never lose. Oh God, Jesus. Fuck, oh jeez. Oh God, oh it's, it's too late. It's all in the soup, okay. Well, it's gonna be very, very sweet. <laughs> why it, I, I apologize for making fun of the size of your hole. <laughs> oh God. Oh shit. Oh no. All right. Let's just keep going. Act like nothing happened. Some salt. Oh no. Oh jeez. <laughs> Pepper. It's, it's, it's all in the soup. Some uh, smoked paprika. Good bit of this. I like the smoky flavor. Ancho chili powder. Gives a little bit more heat. Garlic powder. I, I tend to like the granulated garlic flavor as well as the um, fresh garlic. I just think it kind of gives it a more cohesive taste. And then lastly, what am I missing? A liquid smoke. And um, unlike the Kahlua snake juice disaster abomination explosion video, I'm gonna be adding just a drop of this. That was more than a drop, but I still think it should be uh, just about right. So let's go ahead and mix this bad boy up and uh, get ready for our spicy brown sugar sauce. Okay, so unlike Mike's sauce where he was combining everything on the stove top, I kept everything separate up to this point and I'm gonna mix it all together here in this final stage. So we've got my reverse engineered Carolina barbecue sauce. We got the reaper paste to crank up the heat and we've got the aforementioned coffee and cheer wine for the liquid components. Uh, for my caramel sauce, didn't really turn out to be a caramel sauce. I committed one of the cardinal sins of caramel making, which is don't over stir it, and it completely crystallized. So I have uh, this really nice granulated, crystalline, caramel-like substance. Now, the good news is 
This tastes amazing. If you eat it, it tastes just like a Werther's original candy, uh, but not a very pleasing texture. I'm hoping as I mix it with our liquid components, it'll dissolve pretty well. So it'll effectively be the same thing. So here we go. I'm gonna start by transferring over a generous portion of my Carolina vinegar ketchup sauce and hopefully not spill a bunch of it in the transfer. I'm gonna add my little caramel crystals here in hopes that they'll dissolve as I add the liquid on top. Sprinkle some of that in there. Very appetizing, I know. Cheer one. I've never actually had cheer one before, so let's give it a taste real quick. That's delightful. That'll go real good in here. Nice. Um, now I'm gonna try to be conservative with the coffee here, because I'm not a big coffee person. Little hint. And final, cranking up the heat, because Manuel said he was a spicy food person, we're spicy food people. Generous, generous with the reaper paste. Let's give it a good old mixy mixy. This is gonna be very liquidy. Very, very liquidy. Oh yeah. What a delightful texture and sound. Okay, so um, my ingredients have boiled down and made actually a very nice looking brown, kind of thicker sauce. It smells incredible, very spicy, very tangy. I don't think the absurd amount of brown sugar that fell out of Wyatt's uh, enlarged bowl is going to add too much sweetness to it. Um, I did offset it off camera a little bit with some more brown sugar, some more ketchup. So hopefully that helps a little bit, but we're gonna go ahead and toss it in the blender here and get these peppers down to the right consistency. We are here uh, ready to try our finished products, Wyatt. I think we're going to have a pretty close call today. Yeah, I think this can go either way. Excited. All right. Do we want to try... We do have our pork chops smothered in our sauces. This one is smothered in mine. Wyatt's got his right there. Uh, do we want to try our individual sauces first, or do we want to dive right into the pork chops? What do you think? Let's uh, let's do the sauce, then we'll see what it's like okay. in the context. Let's do it. Do a little, do a little dip. Whoa, this is way more muted flavor-wise than I thought it would be. It's like, it's really savory. You feeling good? Dude, mine is fucking good. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Mine has got that nice kick. The brown sugar explosion brought it like down from the crazy heat. That is tasty. All right. It's like, okay, so. Emmanuel, apologies. I didn't even really go for the North Carolina barbecue here. This is definitely like a sweet, like Memphis, Carolina, not Carolina, uh, Kansas City style, but that's more my style and I, I think I knocked it out of the park here. Yeah, it's weird. I thought the coffee would throw this whole thing off and all the sweet ingredients, cherry soda and all things in there, but the coffee, I think, was an interesting binding agent and I think it really actually Makes it sort of cohesive. It's probably, based on reaction, probably not as good as that, but I guess we'll find well, let's out. Try, let's try, let's try. Do a little switch through here. Yeah. A good bit there. This is definitely thicker, definitely darker than mine. Oh, but I like oh, yours. It's great. Really sweet. Oh, that <laughs> Carolina Reaper hits, man. Yours is hotter than mine, for sure. It is, I mean, I knew it was gonna be super sweet. Yeah. But it's not like, Overpoweringly so, it works. I wouldn't even call it as sweet as like Sweet Baby Ray's. I would. I wouldn't. Uh, <laughs> yours, yours is really tangy. It's really zesty, and then that Carolina Reaper punch is really good. Why? I'm gonna say it. This is the week with the tightest competition. Did yet. we draw? Yeah. I, yeah. We, we made. This is like the, we both made very good sauces. I'd be happy to eat both of these sauces. We were worried about them being too similar, and it's funny. They're actually really different. They very much are. Yeah. You got good. the you got the zesty, the spicy. I've got the sweet, still spicy. <laughs> yeah, different textures, different flavors. Yeah. So it's a different kind of spice because you went mostly habanero. Yes. And I went with the reaper paste. And I I do have a little bit of smoke in mine as well. Yeah. Which, you know, everything I cook has smoke in it, so. Let's see what they're like on these shops. Let's man. do it. I can't Let's wait. Go. I'm gonna 
scoop it in. Yeah, and get a lot of sauce on there. It's right? all about the sauce, baby. I'm a sauce guy. Cheers. Lost in the sauce. It's great on pork chop. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, all right. Maybe it's a sweet baby, sweet baby raise. Okay, <laughs> that's where you're coming from. But I, I still think it's good. All right. I still think it's very good. All right, let's go ahead and cut off a slice here. I'm excited to try this one. Me too. Make sure you get a lot of that sauce on there. Oh, yeah. Don't want you to miss out on any of my masterpiece over there. Oh yeah. Take it right in. No. All that sugar that you've totally meant to add to this, uh, completely on purpose. Really? I feel like it would go even better with like pulled pork. A pulled pork sandwich with a really sweet barbecue. Oh yeah. This is just because you want you want a sweeter barbecue with the pulled pork. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is just honey bar barbecue people that can actually handle spicy things. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely yeah. <laughs> This is, if yeah. V-Dubs perfected their honey barbecue sauce, this yeah. is what it would be. I also fucking love your sauce, dude. Like, excuse me, it's very hot. <laughs> the Reapers, the Reapers are very much out front, but the mustard, the vinegar are very prominent. Uh, you definitely get the Carolina flavors in there. Um, the coffee is not at all overpowering. Um, hi, Lola, you wanna be in the video? Go be in the video. Okay, good girl. Um, but overall, just a very nice, pleasant sauce. Very tangy, very hot. This, dude, this is a good fucking week. Yeah, we I nailed think, it. I think we both nailed it. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy to share this. Share victory. Oh yeah, let's put a cap on it. All right, y'all. We were off camera and we were like, hey, we can't let these pork chops go to waste, right? So we mixed the sauces moment of inspiration. Guys, when you combine these two, it's greater than the sum of their parts. We I, like it's it. so good. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, just mmm. The end It's so good. You get the sweet, the spicy, the tangy. Mm -hmm. that's, oh yeah. That's the real secret right there. Mm. Oh my god. Yeah. We fucking killed it this week. All right, folks, we're going to go ahead and try our best to put a cap on it here. I think Wyatt and I are both struggling to breathe a little bit through the heat level of our combined barbecue sauces here. Oh, my goodness. Anyways, thank you so much for tuning in to the Weekly Drip. Um, I think this was a really fun episode. We did something a little bit different this time. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Um, if you did, make sure that you like this video and that you subscribe so that you can stay up to date on what's going on on the channel. We're going to have lots of stuff coming your way shortly here. Um, also, make sure that you comment below to let us know whose sauce you thought was better. Uh, do you have any idea who the winner this week was? I don't know. Honestly, the best part was whenever we combined the two. So I don't know if you can call a winner on this one. That's true. The winner was just the power of friendship and hot sauce. Like, when we threw the two together, it was awesome. It conquers all. Oh, Friends so much hot sauce. So much better. The spicy, beautiful goodness. Um, yeah, also make sure that you catch up on our podcast, Getting Sauced. It's much better than this whole shenanigan thing that we do. And sometimes it's not, but you know, we have fun doing it. So uh, that is available on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, uh, pretty much anywhere that you can get podcasts. It should be coming up on YouTube soon whenever our tech guy, his name's Mike, uh, gets around to it. He's super lazy though, so I wouldn't count on it. Um, also catch us on social medias. We are on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and we don't know how to use any of them, so it's really fucking funny. All right, this episode was written and produced by Mike King and Wyatt Dozier. Huge thanks to our camera person for this episode, The Chair. Yes, the dining room chair. And also a huge thanks to our amazing editor, Zia Fox. We also want to throw out a huge shout out to Emmanuel Winter for sitting down with us, taking some time, and really giving us some fantastic inspiration for these hot sauces. Yes. These may be, at least the combined one, might be the best one we've made yet, so thanks, buddy. Yeah, seriously, like, we gotta send you a bottle, man. This stuff is <laughs> fire. Literal fire. Literal, yeah. That's delicious. All right, until next time, we're getting sauce. Yeah. No, we're uh, the weekly drip. We're also that. Yeah.
and you stay spicy. God fucking damn it, Wyatt. <laughs> Stupid fuck. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Lola, you can't get back there. Lola, sit. Lay down. Lay down. No, don't bark. Lola. Lola, lay down. No, that's that stand up. Lay down. Sit. You're so dumb. All right, just stay. That's fine. All right. Okay, folks, we're going to go ahead and try to put a cap on dog. 